YouTube! Say hi, Cody! Hey guys! We have made incredible progress on the kitchen remodel yeah. since. 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, since the last vlog update and within the last 24 hours. I mean, you can kind of get a peek of it behind me. Look at. Look at that. Tell them what was there last time. Uh, last time it was. We still had these bottom cabinets in. Which meant the sink was still in, and the floor was down to the uh, subfloor, and none of the sheetrock was up. It was all just open studs. You could mm -hmm. see all the pipes and everything and for the bathroom. None of the patches were done, so we patched pretty much everything. Put up three pieces of sheetrock here. Did major patchwork through here. Can you tell them about the plumbing. Oh, uh, we put in. Uh, we finished the PEX from underneath the house to the uh, faucets there. Which, the I don't there. think we so ever got any footage of before that. No, I don't think we did. You want to explain to them what that looked like? So that was, so this house still had all the galvanized in it from when it was originally made. And uh, it was all rusty on the inside, just completely rusted. It was really scary. It was disgusting to say the least. Um, and so we started, we did most of the house in PEX, what, last year? Yeah. And we did the laundry room in PEX. Um, but the kitchen sink was, I think that was actually the last thing, because we also did the bathroom. The kitchen sink was the last thing that still had the rest of galvanized, and now it's PEX. So we'll have clean water again. And this whole area right here was just it's open. Like open. You, like, it was just open to the studs and the outside, and those were kind of like, hanging through the wall. So now he's just finishing up the uh, tape, mudding and taping on the ceiling there because all this was, I don't know what's wrong with that. I think that's where the original cabinets were. Yeah. And there's all kinds of seamage. Still put in all kinds of nasty stuff. <laughs> we haven't decided if we want to leave it just exposed like this. I'm mean, gonna obviously paint it. But, or if we want to do like maybe a shiplap on this wall, or we kind of, we talked about beadboard too. But if we do like a beadboard or a shiplap or something, it would kind of make that wall my, like an accent wall. I don't know. But I've been helping in the kitchen all day. It's actually, it's almost four o'clock, I think. Can this, can this zoom all the way? There, ooh, playing with the new. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, I'm just messing with the new settings on my camera. But yeah, I've been helping in the kitchen all day, which has been great, but now I'm getting kind of exhausted because I am still pregnant. <laughs> and he's just doing the last bit of the mud there because I can't put my arms above my shoulder for that long without feeling like I'm gonna pass out these days. He's finishing up that, and then we'll work on some flooring stuff later. But for now, I'm working on editing the last vlog, so. By the time you see this one, that one will already be up. So I just got a little bit of computer work to do and uh, focus. And then we'll just see where the evening takes us. Good time to make some tea. your folks place and maybe let your camera run around a little bit. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. Yeah. I didn't finish my tea. Oh, you bring it with you. Mm -hmm. you refill the water. Okay. Yeah, this one came up. Oh my. Just throw that back on. Show the camera. <laughs> that broke. The dental floss broke. So I need to sew it up again. There, there needs to be more explanation of that. The dental floss broke. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the dental floss broke. Show so, that again. so to be fair, Joe did this. this, this <laughs> okay, blame this the wife. time. Yep, this time. Um, why? Why did I do it? Because you're amazing, be and these are my work shoes. Because that's how you taught me how to fix Cause, shoes. Yeah, because that's how you fix shoes. Because even when there's no tread left. And the entire sole has fallen. Oh, that was the other one. This one was the entire sole fell off. 
I needed to put a couple more stitches on. Oh, that one came out. I've gotten an extra couple years out of them at least. Oh, we need dark goodness. support. Pam, you wanna go see Grandma? We're gonna go take the truck back? You gonna go ride in the car? Oh boy, well, you gotta sit on the map. I got. I got to put the camera down. There we go. Good girl. Okay. We're ready to go. Yeah. Ready to go. Thank you, it's new. Nice. What do you think? Very nice, you Canon. Look, you look gorgeous, you're all high definition up in there. Nice. <laughs> you don't need the camera for that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Pam. Hello. She's happy to see you. I'm happy to see her. We brought back your truck. Yay! My truck. Back to the parking lot. I know, right? <laughs> Is mom inside? Uh, yep, Caitlin is not feeling well, just so you guys are aware. Okay. Um, I gotta take the doggy away. There's your key. Thank you. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> My bad. That's how you feel about me. <laughs> you gonna take the dog around back? Yep. Mm -hmm. She needs some exercise. So I'm going to the market and I'll be back in a bit. Okay. How long are you staying? How long? Is it? I'm not sure. Long enough to exercise the dog. Okay. Hi, Dad! Hello. I got Zoom there. <laughs> What? Do you, YouTube, right? what? Say hello, YouTube. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the new camera? What do you What do you think of that high definition? Look at that. You can see all my wrinkles in the high def. They're gorgeous. Look at that. Well, look at how like like the background is all blurred and everything. It looks good. Respect. Brave new world. Oh yeah. What? My socks still get wet. Your socks got wet. <laughs> In, in your regular tennis shoes? Well, yeah, because they're still on fabric. Oh, yeah. Sure. Poor decisions. I was going to film the dog playing frisbee, but it started raining. Oh, she looks sad. Aw, she's like, we're leaving way too I soon. you got to leave the blanket out. You can't dig it up. There you go. Oh, my car all wet. that's pitiful. That so where are we off to now? Uh, Safeway, right? Yeah. We're going to Safeway for dinner. Mm-hmm. Chinese food. Amer Chinese. Amer Chinese. Since we've uh, tore out the kitchen, obviously, we don't really want to be dealing with dishes or cooking or anything, so we've been eating out. Eating out. Eating and since, and yeah, and since the whole coronavirus thing going on, all we've had is takeout, so we've just been trying to find different takeout options for lunch and dinner and breakfast and stuff. Thankfully, we have like a ton of extra gas money this month because we haven't been able to go anywhere. So it's, we're just buying takeout with it. <laughs> Where did they go? I don't know. We, we were driving through here the first time and there was a bunch of little baby cows we wanted to get on camera for you guys. They're and now all they're gone. gone. They just poof. There's like 50 cows out there. They were so cute and fluffy. No, they're baby moose. Baby moose. Baby moose. Are they back here? No. I didn't see them in the trees or nothing. What? They've been abducted. Aliens. They probably had dinner call. Probably. I could be it. What do you got? I got numbs. What kind of numbs? I got Safeway numbs. Chinese numbs. Chinese numbs. We got orange chicken. We got sesame chicken. And rice uh -huh. and the nicest lady ever was in line ahead of us and i guess she just got the last of the fried rice she got two of them mm -hmm. and there's only white rice left 
And she was all like, oh, they can have one of my fried rice. I'll take a white rice. I was like, are you sure? And she was like, absolutely. And we're like, oh my gosh. It's so nice. It was so nice. So nice. So now we got one fried rice and one white rice. Mm -hmm. Very nice, Brady. And we got pot stickers and extra sweet and sour sauce. Sweet and sour. Mm. Mm. So the rest of the plan for the evening, eat dinner. While watching Voyager, mm -hmm. season two, episode two, I believe. I believe you're right. And then we're gonna, she's gonna make food for me for this weekend while I pour the first layer of floor leveler. Mm -hmm. And then we'll, we should show them the kitchen before we go to bed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. With the mud on. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, it does. All right. Come on, I'm hungry. Food time. <laughs> Bam. Are you, Pam, are you hungry? Oh, are you, are you hungry? Yeah. Is it dinner time? She's looking at the bowl like, uh, you know what I want. Sit. Wait. Wait. Trash bag out of the way. Okay. And there she goes. Very happy to have dinner. Well, dinner was delicious. Yes, it was. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Show you guys our uh, temporary kitchen setup. Yeah. We're in the laundry room here. It's tiny house in there. <laughs> We've got. Dirty dishes on the washing machine. Spot for clean dishes on the freezer. We've got our sink in here. Cody just finished making crock pot chicken for taking to work. I've got extra counter space on top of the dog food. <laughs> See who who needs a kitchen? We got this covered. Yeah. Yeah, we got a little extra counter space here, and of course we got the stove cleaned up for for while Cody's gone, because he's leaving for work tomorrow for a couple days. Yeah. To my leaving me to my loneliness. Mm -hmm. You you look very concentrating. What are you doing? Oh, it was a little thick in an area and a little thin next to it. Oh. So apparently it wasn't exactly self leveling. Oh. But or it wasn't running enough. You want to tell them what this stuff is? Oh, this is floor leveling compound. And what does that do? It levels the floor. Well, looky there. I'm filling in that giant gap that was here. Yeah. So it'll harden like concrete. And that is poured all the way around the border of the tiles. Pam, don't step in it. Pam, unless you want to be Daddy. on Fail Army Daddy. or America's Funniest Home Videos, you'd best sit somewhere else. Go on. Go on. Wow. Out of here. Out of here, go on, go lie down. But yeah, here's our progress for today. Look at that, we got all the sheetrock, we got finished up the first layer of mud and tape on everything. That is pretty darn smooth for our first coat. We're gonna go over the tile. We're not gonna try to rip it up, that's just gonna be way too much of a project. <laughs> and uh, we're still trying to pick a, pick a vinyl. We're just gonna try to do sheet vinyl in here because it's just a square room. I mean, once you pull everything out, it's a square room, so it should be really easy. But we'll just have to make sure everything's level first. Which, this giant chasm of floor leveler that we just poured will have two days to dry. Hello, what do we in here? It'll have two days to dry while Cody's at work. Mm -hmm. And then we can get to pouring. Uh, Feathering out the yeah smoother spots. the ti the tiles where they're like uneven and stuff. I don't think we're gonna try to layer not layer level in between the tiles like where all, all the, the grout all is. The grout yeah, just the ones that are particularly uneven. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So we'll still need we still need to decide on a floor, and we think we think we're gonna do that wall in potentially a shiplap. Kind of to make it an accent wall. So imagine, you know, your counter's right here, 
the counter right there, your upper cabinets, and then in the middle, ship lap on ship back. Lap all back Just and kind of add some character. Yeah. Give it, give it a little more something than just a blank wall. College apartment looking kitchen. I think that's about it for tonight, though. I don't think we can do anything else. It's bedtime. Yeah. What time is it? Eight fifteen. Eight fifteen. It's a good day's work. Yep. You good did days. good. You got we, all that plumbing in. We done good. We done good. You did most of this mud. Yeah, I did. All the good looking stuff she did. I try. I think we're gonna play a board game and go to bed. Yep. Yep. Tell you. And read a book. And shower. And shower. Cody's been reading bedtime stories to the baby. Oh. Wait, why you make that face? You <laughs> goose. Uh. All the women out there are gonna love you. They're gonna be like, wow, what a sweet, sensitive guy reading to his baby in the womb. Glad I can give them that. I apologize to the husbands out there who are going to suffer at this. Husbands, well, take a cue from this fantastic well, Cody human. He did it, so I can't chew. Uh -huh, Cause he's amazing. They just can't be as awesome as I can. Maybe that's it. That's just it. Yeah. It's hopeless. Don't even try. You're you just the bar is too high. That's right. That's what it is. Yep. <laughs> That's it for tonight. That's it for tonight's That's video. That's it for tonight. <laughs> no mas. No mas. And we'll see you guys next time. Next time. Bye. You were just commenting this morning that those were such bright white socks. Feel ashamed. And now the world knows. And now the world knows that I ruined these socks. You ruined new socks. With Donald Floss shoes. <laughs> oh my god. America! <laughs> Whatever. What?